So far, we have created simple applications that don't do any serious background processes. By the time you begin to do heavy background processes, your users might experience some application hangs. The applications begin to hang when you begin to run heavy operations on the main thread. What do I mean by the main thread? Now, so far, any operation we run actually runs on the main thread of this application. Sometimes you want to actually run something on a background thread so that the UI thread is actually freed up. So for example, let's create a method. The thread will sleep for three seconds, simulating probably a network call or a heavy operation. Now, let us come to our design. The idea of this button is button. So now I have my button and I set a click listener on it, such that anytime I click, it should display a toast that says, hi. So if I click this button, it shows hi. But what if before I display hi, I run a heavy process? Let's see what's going to happen. I click this button and everything hangs. Then suddenly it says hi. So probably the user presses the button and keeps pressing it. And it looks as if the application is hanging because it actually is. Look how many seconds and it's still taking seconds before showing hi. Still trying to recover. Still trying to recover. So what if this heavy process was not here? That means at each point, got it. That means at each point, as I click the button, it was meant to show high continuously. But because of the heavy process, it was doing everything on the main thread. So how do we handle cases like this where we want to run something on the background thread and when it's done, it should perform some operations. For Android, we can use async task. Async task class will allow you to perform background operations and then publish the results on the UI thread. The next lesson, we will dive into the code of async task and see how it operates.